Um, these things are called cherry plums and we're going to go and plant them along the hedge see what happens. They're a very old-fashioned sort of very small plum so I think you can eat them or we could leave them for the birds to eat and where we've made a few holes in the hedge where we've taken out things like the um, elder we're going to put these in their place. And we're also going to paint our fantastic compost bin um, with some lovely green preservative <laughs> just so it blends into the background. We're having a bit of trouble pulling the stickiest mastic in the world between the prefabricated concrete beams. And the job is to pull it out so that we can reseal it and everything else. And it grips like a, an octopus on acid. But that's the job, and as you can see, you pan left, we've got lots of stuff to come out. A bit of painting. Um, obviously you can't see from that side but it's a lovely green colour um, and hopefully what will blend into the background. A work in progress. It's a bit more of a sedate job than we used to on the Sunday, isn't it Kay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that looks loads better. Yeah. quite a lot of the tinner paint so we've painted all some of the back there and we're just starting on the front and it's looking much better it is it's lovely and it's uh, weatherproofing stuff we thought we'd go around the front so you could actually see that we've done something <laughs> yeah. okay so it's the first bit of cherry plum hedging planted down here a bit of experiment to see what's going to do like putting the needle back in the haystack here. You can't tell the difference between this and anything else, but we'll watch this over the next month or two. If it's successful, we'll have blossom and cherry plums in the autumn. If it's unsuccessful, we'll just take it out and put it on the compost team. This weekend, uh, pulling out the sealant from between all the steps in what stand are we here? The east stand. Um, trying to pull out the old sealant with a view in time to get it all um, power washed and then have new sealant put in. Um, so that whole thing holds itself together very nicely. Um, it's a bit of a soul destroying job. You have to try and just loosen one end and pull it off in a big long strip. But we're getting there slowly. Um, we're about halfway along the stand. Fingers crossed, next week, decent weather, we'll be able to get to the other end. And who knows, we'll be up to the corner maybe. Fingers crossed, the first game will be in sight. Yeah. Okay.